Ya. You just have to laugh when things like that happen in Battlefield. Like a tank up on the edge of the, the cliff in Sinai Desert, you know, only in Battlefield, only in Battlefield. What's going on everyone, Mike One bringing you some Battlefield 1 Rush gameplay with Crazy Devil. And I have now posted in five weeks, six weeks. And the reason was the internet went in the office. It was gone for a while and we had to wait for it to be re reinstalled and all this kind of stuff. It was, it was just a bit of a nightmare of a situation it was. And I was playing away and I was enjoying playing without recording the, the pressures of not going, oh crap, it'd be nice to have you know a full good gameplay, blah blah blah. And I was I was enjoying it big time. So I was still playing the game um and I wasn't lugging this big rig into the house for me to record stuff with. So that's why I haven't done any recording. I'm only back into it in the last couple of days. And I got this game played the other day, a quick little little session with, with Crazy Devil. Um, so yeah, enjoy. And people know that I'm a stickler for playing the objective. It's probably one of the main reasons why I don't do as well as I do in games. I'm talking about KD-wise. It's because I'm constantly sticking with the objective as much as I can. And... <laughs> If you saw there, I saw that the B target was armed. I did not go to this armor because if you check back, the minimap had a teammate there and there was no need for me to go running over there to disarm it when I could have just been trying to protect him. So I just thought I'd get that off my chest because when I went back and I actually watched this video after we played it, when it happened, I was like, shit, why didn't I go on our... And then I, I looked again and I went, oh, obviously, <laughs> that's the way I play. And I have a lot more of those little kind of funny moments. And everyone has them. You have them in nearly every game. So I might try to incorporate them into the start of every video as we go along. Um, it, you know, I have the clips. I might as well use some of them up. But I also want to do... Uh, my kind of impressions of Battlefield so far in another video. Um, I have some things I want to talk about, things that I absolutely love, things that I absolutely hate in the game. Um, primarily things like the bloody quit button that still doesn't fucking work. Oh my god, what the hell is going on with that button? It is so ridiculous it is. You might as well just <clears throat> excuse me, you might as well just go dashboard and come back into it. That's how absolutely broken it is. It's so stupid it is. But yeah, I that's I'm just gonna have my little my, it's not re, it's not my review, it's my impressions of it so far. Because I would never review the game without trying out every weapon. And I've not tried out every weapon, and I've not tried out every gadget, and I've not tried out every vehicle. So yeah, it's gonna be my impressions video. But Battlefield above everything is a team based game and it is better when you're playing with a squad that you can talk to and interact with and, and things like that and that's why hopefully over the Christmas time I will be getting it for PC that I can go in with a, a bigger group of people and just you know call out shit and, 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 and play it that way because there's nothing worse than playing with randoms not knowing what they are doing, what they are thinking. Now you get the odd game, you go in and there's just like this kindred bond between you all where you all know what's going on. Apologies to hear if you hear noise outside or in the background. I have computers on, I have machines on here, just work going on outside. There's a load of stuff going on and hopefully I'll be getting a good microphone and a filter and all that kind of stuff over the Christmas period. Uh, that's not a guarantee, but it would be nice if I if, if I will. But yeah, back to what I was talking about with the with the the teammates and, and, and all that. Sometimes you get into a group where just everything clicks and they are just amazing games to play with randoms. It's it, it happens in every game, it happens in Overwatch. <coughs> Excuse me. I've never really seen it happen in Call of Duty because that's literally just run around. It's a clusterfuck of everyone getting kills and that's basically it. But 
it's it's brilliant when that happens. Um, it happened to me last night, and I felt great. Uh, and then another time, you play <laughs> Fluffy Mac Robertson there falling down in front. But that's why when Crazy's got the time to go on, and unfortunately his work schedule has changed, and it clashes with my work stroke family time. Is you know when when we're both off being able to play, so it's been few and far between when we have. But when we have, I'm just waiting. I, I, the reason I put this video in was I think this look at that kill feed, you absolutely sexy bastard for doing that. Oh, I was shouting at crazy there. We're going, look at the kill feed. I even went into the scoreboard to see your man's name to see how we see what happened. Um, yeah. So when we're playing together, especially on battlefield and that, it's it's fun. But there's also ragey moments. I will say it's mostly crazy level. It is so funny. And I said to him last night when we were playing a bit of Overwatch, uh, I kind of want to do a kind of a live commentary, maybe series, where we're just talking, just normal. But we get to hear his point of view. And maybe even if he streams and I can take his gameplay and stuff. I just think that would be... I think that would be uh, funny. It would be funny for me. And at the end of the day, I upload these videos from myself and the few people that watch them. I, I don't give a shit about trends. I don't give a bollocks about all that stuff. I do. We do these these videos the way we want to do them. And you know, fuck everyone else. You know, we're not massive YouTubers. You know, so you know, we don't. It's it's. You know, the people that watch the videos want to watch the videos. It's not like the bigger YouTubers have a ton of trolls coming in just to troll them at the same time. So, you know, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. We're old school. There's a lot of us old school type of YouTube gamers out there. That they, guys that put the same type of content as this up. Talk about the gameplays instead of just talking about random shit that has no, no bearing on it. Now, those videos, not, not, not to... Shit on those videos. We do that sometimes as well. But what I'm saying is, the majority of the time you're talking about the gameplay that you are playing, and that's a dying thing. That is, it's it, that doesn't happen anymore, and uh, that's a shame because I miss that. That's why the couple of subscriptions that I have, people still do that, and and I enjoy it. And that's the way we started in YouTube. And myself personally, I've been on YouTube. I'm I have another channel. And I've uploaded videos over 10 years ago. So, you know, the, the, the change has been disgusting. But that's the way it goes. Anyway, that's a little rant at the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that kind of stuff. And we will see you in the next video, people. This is Mike Wan. Laters, everybody.